What's up guys, I wanted to make a video about Yakitate Japan, basically because like right now I'm in between last season and this season, and like during that time it's like the hardest thing is to find new anime because if you've seen a lot it just gets harder and harder to find good animes that you're interested in, because by this point you kind of know what you want to watch, and it's kind of hard to like spread out your viewing um, categories, but if you haven't seen it before, I'd recommend Yakitate Japan. It's an older, not super old, it's like 10 years old, 13. Came out like 2005, I think. And it's a cooking anime that follows Ozma Kazuma, which is a boy that wants to change the staple food of Japan from rice to bread because everybody else in the world likes bread. And he had like this experience when he was younger where he had, he tasted bread and he was like, his life changed. He went from a rice fanatic to wanting to let everybody else witness how great bread is through his creations. And uh, he has a special ability which is called Solar Hands which allows him to like ferment bread faster or better or something. Which is like a unique trait to only like a few characters in the world in this um, anime universe. Um, the story is like super lighthearted. Like it's really enjoyable because it's like very relaxing. But there's also times where the creator does a really good job of setting their evil characters as evil and like makes you take them a little bit seriously and makes you hate them, which is really well done because that's what you want is for people to hate your uh, villains. Like gives them a reason to like cheer on the good guys to defeat them. And the evil stuff that their characters do are not like your normal... They don't kill anybody because it's a cooking show, but they do some just messed up things. Like, if they did this in real life, you'd just be like, you are a terrible, despicable person. And it kind of just, like, it's it kind of, like, breaks the um, lightheartedness, but then it basically jumps back into it. So, it has a pretty good dynamic. And one thing it does a lot that I really enjoy is tournament arcs. Like, there's probably, like, five or six tournament arcs, and I think there's only, like, two arcs that don't have a tournament arc that aren't a tournament arc, but they're, like, super well done. And the reason I love tournament arcs is because, like, the character, it shows a lot of different characters, shows a lot of different techniques that people use. And I think some of the techniques in the show are actually real techniques that are probably a little bit exaggerated for the cooking of bread. So you learn a little bit about bread making, too. I think the first ending has, like, uh like a video of somebody actually making bread which is kind of cool um the opening and endings in this anime are really well done it's sold out i think it's like the second or third ending it's like my favorite anime ending probably of all time and uh, i'll post a link to it if i find it in the description um so this is one of the pioneer cooking animes besides mr jiko i can't think of any other ones that might have came before i'm sure there is one there's another one, but I can't remember what it's called. But Mr. Jiko is the one that I think inspired Iron Chef as the actual show. And this is my favorite by far. Better than Shokugeki no Soma or anything like that. Shokugeki, um, and it has the reactions instead of like in Shokugeki no Soma where it's like super etchy reactions where everybody's clothes burst off and whatnot. It's more like uh, puns, reactions like the ingredient they're using or the type of bread they're making makes the eater of the bread to have like some kind of reaction that is a pun with the name of the food and some of them are super cool and interesting and the show kind of picks fun of itself because it'll like i think there was an episode where it's like greatest reactions in yakitate japan and it kind of breaks the fourth wall in that way um and all the characters have like a it'll t it gives a pretty good backstory of most of the characters so you know where they come from and like why they do things a certain way and their motivations, which is really cool. And um, character development's really well done. I'd say Asuma Kazuma's character development pretty much happens at the start of the anime. Because he doesn't really change too much outside of when he's a boy to when he has the time skip to where the anime actually starts. And he probably has the least development because he's pretty much born with his talent. He gets, he does train, I think, for one arc, but most of the skills he already had before 
he starts competing with everybody else. He's kind of just showcasing them now and all the work he's put into it. Um, unlike his sidekick type character, which has to like work for everything and has to do all these training montages and go through like living hell to like try to catch up with everybody. And there's one character development that's one of my favorite and like the anime and like most animes probably is one character like actually gets in a relationship with one of the other tournament contenders I won't reveal who because it's supposed to be a spoiler free video but it's like one of the best relationships I love it it's like one of the, like favorite ship in anime not my favorite but it's pretty up there it's like very good for something that's not a romance anime and this is like a cooking shonen anime um, let's see um, the ending could have used a little bit more work. I wish it would have like lasted a little bit longer because there's like one plot hole that I wish they would have like addressed better and I think they could have if they had more episodes but either way they ended pretty suitably. It could have been a lot worse and um, they tried to like stitch up a few plot holes but it could have been better. But it's still one of those animes I can come back to. I've seen it like three times 69 episodes I believe and it's kind of like Ajume no Ippo and I Show 21 it's one of the ones that like survives time and you can like watch and get motivated and want to try something new if you never cook bread in bread this might be the show that gets you to try it um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll try to put out more anime related videos until I can like start streaming again um, and yeah, I'm going to try to find more animes I can recommend, it's shows that I really enjoyed. Um, and hopefully the new season comes out soon because I've only seen like one or two animes come out. And it's not super looking bright so far. I refuse to spoil myself and like actually look up what's supposed to be coming out. But hopefully something good does. I haven't seen anything good yet though. Thanks for watching. See you next time.